After watching Deadpool and Wolverine, one question remains in everyone's mind. Sure. Why is Thor crying? Why was Thor crying? Why was Thor crying? Thor! Oh my god, I'm surrender. Quick, Do not tell speak me. to her. Now that the film is finally on Disney+, Plus, I was able to watch this scene again and again and again and again and i was able to analyze this scene deeply and all the other mentions of that moment to figure out truly as to why thor was crying but as always this is just a theory and theory will only get you so far so you have been warned and also a spoiler warning in case you haven't seen deadpool and wolverine yet what are you even doing so when paradox explains the death of deadpool's universe one of the tva agents accidentally plays footage of thor crying holding deadpool's body and we hear paradox say that this happens in the future and he shouldn't see this then throughout the movie deadpool is haunted by the fact that thor is crying but why was he crying the most obvious answer is that this is probably something we will see explored in doomsday or secret wars where thor is crying over the body of deadpool after he just sacrificed himself to save thor or something along those lines but that's just the boring lame answer and also if we analyze this scene further there are some things that we notice that don't seem like what they seem firstly look at thor in the scene they basically just took the footage from the dark world and then cut out the bits of loki and put deadpool there this is probably almost because they couldn't get chris hemsworth to cameo in the movie because otherwise the already insane budget of this movie would have gone through the roof that it might have just given kevin feige such a shock that he might stop wearing caps p.s do you know what he was doing to the budget but in order for you to not suffer that much of a shock a subscribe to the channel might help you out Another thing we should look at is that every time Deadpool falls asleep or is unconscious it seems as though he is dreaming of that moment but him dreaming about this is actually quite significant because in Multiverse of Madness we learn that dreams are just the souls of a person looking into the lives of their multiversal counterpart which is why we see how Doctor Strange knew who America Chavez was before meeting her thanks to him seeing her through the dream of Defender Strange. Similarly Deadpool could be watching the lives of his variants play out and all of these lives lead to one place, Thor crying. Perhaps you could even call this a canon event, and in case you didn't know, a canon event is just an event that has to happen in the lives of a certain character in every universe. Like how someone close to Spider-Man has to die, whether it be his uncle, his aunt, his friend, his parents, his girlfriend, etc. As explained in Across the Spider-Verse. Now it is very unlikely Marvel will call these canon events since Sony did come up with the term so it might get renamed, but it would just be the same concept. But we also can't confuse this with absolute points, because those are events that have to happen in a specific universe otherwise Otherwise, that universe will fall apart as we see in what if season one so thor crying over the body of deadpool must be a canon event for all deadpool variants and any variants who didn't experience this might get pruned which might be the variants that we see in the deadpool core but this still doesn't explain why thor looks like how he does in the dark world and for the answer to that we must turn to doom dr doom is essentially the looming doom for the avengers say that again and it's pretty much obvious that everything from this point forward is going to lead to the eventual face-off in Doomsday and this could set that up but before that there is a very real possibility that this might have been shot before Marvel fired Jonathan Majors and perhaps the original plan for Kang Dynasty might have been a time high style adventure but instead of collecting infinity stones they kill variants of Kang throughout the multiverse and through time and as a result they might have revisited some of the earlier movies but changed it up a bit. They could still do this against Doom though it is very unlikely since the plot will probably go very differently but by doing this this might cause the incursion that leads to secret wars. But there is one important thing to note. Paradox summoned Deadpool to the TVA under the orders of someone higher up whether it be B-15 or Loki. We do not know who. So this means that everything Paradox does in this movie might be under the guise of the higher up official which is possible. Though he does say he doesn't answer to the higher ups that might be part of the plan. They didn't accidentally show Deadpool this, but instead it was intentional. They showed him footage of either his future or his variant to motivate him for the coming conflicts ahead. Because if you know that something will happen, you're more likely to risk your life saving the world for everything in between because you know that thing will happen eventually. Meaning that, well, does Paradox know? However, if we actually notice the scene, we see that it is in fact Loki's body that Thor is cradling. This could have been left in as an error in post-production or it intentionally hints to us that this was all a joke and it might not serve any further purpose in the multiverse saga but we might get a reference to it at some point later do comment below your thoughts and subscribe whilst you're there